This is episode three, Nawala, the podcast. I have my wonderful, wonderful co-host Bawo on, for all the way from a bus stop in Lagos, Nigeria. And Dami, shout out to Dami, who's not here this week because she's preparing for her birthday. Shout um, out to Dami. Her twenty-first birthday will change the world. Literally, she's turning the full twenty-one. We thank God for her life. Just like that, young child girl. For sure, Ani. <laughs> Young child girl, shout out to Dami wherever you are, I beg. Yeah. And she's oh, also she's having her birthday party uh, this Sunday, so I don't know if you're free, Bible, but uh, uh, we'll find a way. I'll come um, with some of our listeners. Or should I not come? Should I come with a listener, or should I not come with a listener? Does Does she have fine listeners? Oh, uh, we thank God for her friends, bro. Her um, listeners, her listeners. Uh. Her list, correct. There will be listeners in attendance. I'm only showing, I'm only going to show support for... So we're saying um, she has a dollar worth of listeners? Um, a dollar and two We're not. Mm-hmm. I'll be there. I'll be there with the Bible. Just, you know, because we oh. need, we have a row in our church that nobody's sitting in. We need, we need, we need souls. Yeah, I definitely feel you. It's definitely it, it'd be definitely a good place to uh, collect tithes. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll be there then. I'll be there with my baskets. This cold is touching touching people's body and soul right now. <laughs> How was your weekend, man? I was good. I was in Houston for One Africa, um, awesome. you know, the second installation. So it was a good time seeing, being in H Town and just getting a different vibe. That's dope. That's dope. Who, um, what well, that was like, Two Face, uh, Whiskey? Alame yeah, Day. No, Whiskey this time. Whiskey performed in um, South Africa that weekend. Oh, okay. For, um, the MTV um, award show. Oh, dope. Oh, the, the Mamas. My, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it was um Alame Day, P Squared, Flavor, um Vector, uh Ricardo Banks, Banky hosted it and performed. Um it was it was a good amount of people in there. Scales was there as well. That's dope. Yeah, there was unfortunately no um no up and comers got love still, which was my beef with them, but yeah, it was still a good show. I feel like, I mean, they definitely should have made an effort to put on at least one or two acts that maybe aren't as um, well-known. That way they can get some sort of recognition. Right, right. In that market. They promised us bills, but, um, which was the Houston artist, but they didn't quite deliver. I think they took them off like a week before. Wild. Cool. So, uh, before we jump into the show, do you have any... Um, takeaways from your weekend, like what, like what happened during the weekend that you definitely? Well, um, it was cool because you know you look to network when you're around the people's the West African cats, and I I would say the management teams of the artists are actually, you know, down and open to like converse and you know see what's happening out here, and because you know you always expect some snobbish vibes but i really didn't get any from the management side of things even some of the artists were you know were cool obviously you got to let superstars be superstars but the management team themselves were really really open to it the turn up was crazy um houston has a strip club that has a nigerian flag in it so that's something to take away um <laughs> that's awesome was, that's you know it's just insane that there's a houston strip club with a nigerian flag like i was just waiting for visuals of some kind of stripper just twerking to Rana, you know, that would be twerking to Shino Peters. Yeah, just you know, Shino Vita, no life of you, and just bah, 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 bah. like just it would be it would, it would have been legendary. But we'll give the time. Our culture is still growing, but we know that's the epitome. That's what we're aiming for to have strippers twerk to and join. That's music. awesome. I wish I went so badly. I was um, in DC this past weekend. Oh, how was that? Oh, the Howard homecoming was dope. Too many things happened. Yeah, uh, a lot of spiritual things. A lot oh, of man. souls were won for the Lord. You that you have seen hmm, flags in the strip club in. in oh, East these Park. are things my friends told me. I didn't see such things, sir. Um, yeah. 
which I'll likewise I didn't see such things though but my people were in stadium mm. in DC just what they from, what did they tell you from 11 a.m. on Saturday until 1 a.m. on Sunday I don't know how you can stay in a strip club for over half a day I don't understand they basically okay. rented out that's, that's like a part-time gig you know, they literally rented out the stadium and wow. made it happen. Salute to them. Salute to the HP crew. Um, Henny Palooza happened on that Friday night, so we did that. We went down okay. there. Okay. 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 Wale nice. came out. Um, oh, nice. it, was, it was a good. It was a good time. Uh, Wale performed. Um, you know, it was just cool to see so much, so many people come out for that um, homecoming weekend at Howard and just turn up and I saw a lot of old friends that I haven't seen in some time and it was just it was just dope. Too many things happened. I don't want to get myself in trouble but yeah, it was just, a good weekend. Just too many things happened would be good enough. <laughs> so I, and um, I'm watching James Harden and James Harden was in said club with um, the flag with an R&B singer that I you know don't really I'm, again, too many things happen. <laughs> we don't want to incriminate anybody. You know? no, 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 no. Just things were happening in different area codes and time zones. Oh, salute to everybody that made things happen. Salute this to weekend, yeah. This was, uh, I guess it was the last weekend because it just feels like winter is among, you know, upon us. Yo, Mother Nature was was literally pissed off this week because I don't how- know. Yeah, I think she's fed up with us. It just like I, the worst part about coming to New York is JFK and um, LaGuardia. It just feels like when you step out the airport, bro. Like it just feels like a wind tunnel. Like I came out of Houston like a dummy with just a light jacket, thinking <laughs> I was wild, <laughs> thinking I was getting a connecting flight back to Houston or something. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, you so. Wild. I stepped out. I stepped out in the cold, and good lord, it just it touched. It touched, boys. I was so 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 shaken. So it's just a horrible thing when you come back from a hot place and come back to New York in the fall or winter time. Oh my god! Yeah, man. So so many things. Like so many parties. So much news has been happening in the last week. Oh, mm-hmm. talk about celebration. Um, oh, those, fel- those that yes, don't know yes. Involved. Celebration happened uh, two weekends ago um, in Brooklyn. Obviously, if you don't know who Fela is, I'm not explaining it. Just it's F E L A. You go do the rest. If you don't, you don't. Uh, you know, if you don't know who Fela is, it's it's 2016. The guy had a Broadway show, so <laughs> I don't know what to say. That Jay, Beyonce, everybody endorsed. They, they said um, Beyonce has an, an album inspired by Fela that has not been released. Did you hear that? And I think that's just so crazy. Rock, um, I was at Rock Nation last. Mm-hmm. Week. And I heard that story, but since that's yeah, I heard her and the dream had a whole thing. I, that's I don't know why they're stashing it. I really that off to Don Jazzy. I'm not sure how often I have to babysit Blue Ivy to hear it. I'm down, you know, to put it. In Don, Jazzy, Don Jazzy spoke on why some artists that he has had the opportunity of working with in America haven't released any of their. Um, mm, why is that? I guess he said something along the lines of these artists, they will request someone like Don Jazzy or, you know, an, a- an African producer, someone that makes African hits. They'll request mm-hmm. them to, you know, make a record for them or make records for them. And then, you know, they'll be, it'll be time to release the record and they'll, they'll be hesitant. Like, oh, I'm not sure if the market is ready for this yet. Da, 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 da. So, or can you, you know, I know I brought you into make Bangaloo music, but can we kind of change it into my sound a little bit? And, you know, it's yeah. kind of frustrating. You're coming in to make your yeah, sound. Got you. Scared money yeah. don't make any money type shit. Yeah. So that's why a lot of the records that we know um, Don Jazzy has been working on for a lot of these artists, not just Beyonce and Jay and Kanye and whatnot, but like, you know, artists you would never even think of, you know, R&B artists, hip hop artists you would never even think of. Um, they haven't come up because he claims that they're too afraid to take that step, which makes sense. Um, you know, yeah, hopefully they get it together because... The sound isn't going away. No, it's not. It's just, I guess, you know, it's that transitional period. I'm pretty sure, you know, at some point, drive music was seen as such. Where it's like, oh, come through, but then let's not do that. Or, you know, whatever it is we're listening to now. No, I'm everything. not even sure. I don't even know what we're listening to. I don't know. I guess it's, I'm not sure. I really don't know what we're listening to. It sounds good. I just don't know what genre it is. You talking about so, the trap, trap music in America? Is it trap? Is it like all the way trap now? Because it it's is. not, I love, it's I not feel like what Jeezy was 
Okay. It's not the Jeezy because Jeezy was pushing trap all the way, you know. And now Jeezy this is not G Jeezy Jeezy Jeezy. Yes. Well, actually, to be honest with you, I would say Zaytoven and Gucci were the ones that yes, yeah, um, pioneered it. I'm sorry, yeah, they were the ones that were pushing. It. And the wild the wild joint is Zaytoven. I found out actually listening to um, his interview with Combat Jack. Zaytoven's actually from the Bay, so in real life, trap music is. From the bay, it just mm-hmm. off, which sounds which makes sense, you know. It has that it has that the hype sound to it, yeah. I mean, the hyphy yeah. shit. So, yep. but what are we listening to if it's not that same sound? I'm not well, sure. Trap has crossed over into pop now, which is also oh, very is that what it is. It's not cough. It's not cough medicine music. I mean, once I mean, it's still pop a Molly, you know, drink or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, till you till you can't breathe, music, whatever, but. I feel like once Miley Cyrus decided to drop an album that is produced by Mike Will made it, I think it... Right, it, this is what happens when on pop. when people date pop stars. You know? uh, yep. Could she, yep. I mean, she I, it's happened to Apple just now, too. I mean, Drake is a pop artist, and, you know, obviously we know the whole WizKid story. We don't have to dive into that too much. But, I mean, now Justin Bieber's <laughs> making Afrobeats. So, like, what are you, like, what... It's one of those things where it's like, you know what, you want the spotlight and then you get the spotlight and it comes with people, you know, remaking certain things and you're like, oh crap, I didn't want this. But it is what it is. You know, you're not just going to gain without having somebody take something from a growth, you know. So it's what's hot. So I guess, you know, the transitional thing is just, I just don't know what genre of hip hop or rap it is anymore. It's just. I don't think anyone knows what genre it is yeah, anymore. I think that's just, what's frustrating a lot of people in the industry, too. Because you have OGs that are still making, like, not like young OGs that are still making music. A lot of the Joe Buttons, the Fabulouses, you know, those guys are still making good music, but nobody really cares because it doesn't have a trap cadence under it. I mean, like, the, the fans of today are so uh, microwave. Mm. That yeah, they it's 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 just that sound. I don't know what it is. So cool. I, that's why I got to give kudos to the rappers that are finding a way to sell in you know in this ter- time while doing something different. Because you just gotta keep it simple and have a hot beat, and then you're good. Rap about literally anything. Denim socks. It's a hit. Got it. Denim socks. You're, you're very right. You're very right. If we put a beat on that right now, we could get you some spins on SoundCloud. Yeah. I know that much. Just gotta make sure the hook is popping. Oh, also, are you familiar with? Um, oh, now we're, we're jumping. Into- Yo, we didn't even talk about celebration, which oh, this was the angle. Right. Okay. isn't that okay. crazy? Yeah. So, yes, celebration happened two weekends ago. Um, we had some acts from the DMV. We had acts from New York. Um, we had Kali Abdul, who's uh, making music in Canada right now. He signed to uh, um, a label back home. Well, his team is signed to a label back home. So he was out there. It was really, 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 it was a good time. We had the OGs, the parents, the old heads. They all came out. People who've seen for a lot came out. They told us all they had a good time. So it was just one of those vibes it was pre- perfect. I think the live band killed it. Um, and all the acts that came did their thing. So it was, it was the vibe the whole night was really, really good. So, um, I had a good time. The people who came had a good time. The vendors had a good time. Um, the location, everything, everything came out well. So it was one of those things to be thankful for, for like the first installation. So yeah, and that was, um, that was, that was celebration 1.0, hopefully. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really wish I could have attended. There was a lot of stuff going on that night. But, yes, yes, um, yeah, yeah, there was too much going on that night. Um, people getting married, shout out to Laker. There was a bunch of other events. There was an unofficial one as well. There was like five different celebrations that weekend in New York. So uh, we're just happy. We're happy hours went the way it did. Word. Well, salute to everybody involved with celebration. Um, yes, yes. It was, it was it was dope. It ended up being done very well. Shout out to the whole Kuti family and all yes, the other yes. Thank involved. big thanks to them for holding us down. They gave us their blessing, so truly cool. appreciate them. Shout out to Shin, Femi, Auntie Annie. Boom, out here. Yes, um, Auntie Annie. <laughs> big, big Auntie Annie. She's the pioneer of celebration. She she showed us so much love all the way from Lagos. So we thank her. Shout out. Um, cool. So now that we've covered all the parties that have mm-hmm. and events that have been going on, let's move into the gist, the oh. gist of the week. You know what's crazy? Tamaya actually uh, created a theme song for the gist. 
Oh yeah? Down. Uh, Yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's the chase. Like that. If you want to hear the reef down. If you want to know what's in the ground. If you want to know what's in the people, they can. Then tune to the distance, hear the things around. Hey, it's the cheese, baby. You want to do cheese, honey. Tune into the cheese. Hey, come make a knock you the cheese, though. Now that we're going to go into the gist, have you heard that Young Paris signed to Rock Nation? Yes, I heard about... This was about two months ago, it feels like, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, two, three months ago. He um he did sign to Rock Nation. I met him at NEA. Very, mm-hmm. very chill vibe. Good dude. I know he performed that at Atlanta like two weekends ago. So he's creating his own flow, vibe, you know. He's such a humble dude, man. He's to be respected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I loved, I loved his energy when I met him. And, you know, he performed a live band, had a good show, and so shout out to him. The Rock yeah. definitely made a good move with that. Apparently, uh, before he got signed, his dad, like he has, his his family history is in dance. Like his dad founded a ballet in Congo and... You know, he got into hip hop at like 16, and then he put out a, a mixtape that was co-produced by, um, the, you know, MIA, the the lady that sang Paper Planes. No, uh, no, yeah, I know her. So she, that's how long her husband at 16. Her really, is the one that co-produced um, the mixtape that he put out this wow. year. Wow, crazy, yeah. Um, she, he's actually in, uh, what's it called? He's actually in the music video for one of the tracks. Um, I believe it's called Best of Me. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's actually track. It's a really good track. The video's um, pretty cool, but um, it's really dope to kind of see both of those worlds come together. Like, he's being yes. very well accepted in the States and abroad. And, I mean, I, I've watched him perform at Afropunk, and, you know, he's doing his thing. Now, that's, it's such a dope vibe, because obviously once you see him, it just... He he grabs your attention off the look he has, the branding he's been doing with the painted face, and you yeah. know the looks that's actually how I got put onto him. You know, Lao Lu does all those. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Things, and he was the same one that got Beyonce to do all the face paintings in in her videos. So yeah, Lao Lu too is another person just creating a wave, and it's just going like the man has Nike sneakers, which is just absolutely insane. Like for you to just you know have that in your resume, it's to be. Praised, like I think, I think it's so dope the way the culture is just coming forward. Absolutely. Um. Cool. So moving on. Like, you think he's gonna get a Kardashian? Do you think that's possible? Do I think Lalu's gonna get a Kardashian? He has a shoe deal. I mean, it's possible, but I mean, are the Kardashians still gonna be relevant by the time he even is in a position to? Uh, so should we say Jenner? Are we saying that? Uh, he, you know. What? I can see, I can see him, I can see him with a Kendall. You, you know, because it's like, well, the thing with Kardashians is they they find a way. Like it's just one, it's their seventh power. You know, the sixth being one of the only ones in that family that I like. The, out of the women in that family, is it just because you don't hear as much about her? Um, no, she's actually really a nice girl in real life. Like oh, she's yeah. not like her sisters at all. Damn. She's so, the most one. Maybe because she's a it four, It's five five girls, right? It's three three Kardashian and two Jenners. I I don't even know. I mean, are we counting Chloe? Because we all know Chloe. Chloe, Anyways. Chloe Kim. There's one more. You mean OJ's daughter? That's Chloe, right? Yeah. <laughs> the big girl. That's the one with um Tristan Thompson. Now yeah. there's a the little petite one. And then there's Kim. Uh, um, Courtney. Courtney, that's the one with the it's Courtney. And I think Courtney is one of Courtney's probably the I mean, aside from her having, you know, kids with a with Scott, um, she's pretty dope too. She has like the most normal personality out of the older sisters, but as far right. as the younger sisters. So it's the quiet ones we're like rocking with. I you know. I'm definitely so rocking with the quiet ones all day. Yeah, so you rocking. never know. Like if she does something crazy now, I feel like it's gonna be news. So she still has that in her back pocket. Like she can pull out a gun at the airport and it'll be like, Oh wow, the Kardashians are back. Yeah, that'll be that'll be that'll be dumb wild. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked, you know. 
I'm not one of those that thinks like King's robbery is fake in any way. Like, let me not say they're that crazy because, you know, but it's just like, I feel like they have a lot of back pocket things that they're willing to use to Mm -hmm. be relevant. And Trump might be like, they probably went for Trump to finish so they could stop like saying again. Because you can't be hot right now. Trump is just, Trump has TV unlocked. This is true. You know what I mean? Like, he's just, there's going to be another thing in like two days that he did. I don't, yo, the politics going on right now has made me so It's so, isn't it crazy? Like, no, bro, this is the first time I've been like, yo. Ever, ever mm-hmm. that's like, yo, just end, just, just end, bro. Like, really, Obama, like, the independent, like, yeah. I'm going to like write a love letter to Bernie Sanders because I really feel like. He was slighted, bro. He was slighted so bad because of age. Uh, and and Hillary ain't that young either, bro. Like, what is she, 16? Hillary could barely stand on her twos, like, with, you know, when shit gets crazy. So, but it's just, she was just, she was, she was a Clinton. That's, and then what's up with Jay-Z rolling with Hillary Clinton? Like, you just made a whole thing about arresting black people being sent to jail in the 80s and 90s, and now you're rocking with the wife of the person who kept sending black people to jail. I think what it is, is Jay. Bless her too. Be, J, J, Jay has chosen the lesser of two evils. I think you know. What I'm it, saying? I feel him. like I feel like is it needed? You know, like if you don't know who Hillary's the lesser of two evils at this point. I don't think it's needed, but I also feel like Hillary's trying to atone for her and her husband's past mistakes and by teaming up with you know rappers with past in the drug game or whatever. You know, she's taking pictures with Freeway. She's taking pictures with Pusha. Pusha was pushing the campaign, too. And all Pusha does is rap about that Pyrex. Pushing and drugs, yeah. You know, and so I think what she's trying to do now is to gain the, um, what's it called? The for, not the forgiveness, but she's trying to gain the acceptance of that. You know, all the people she, the people she didn't get to send to jail. That she's, that she's been responsible Passing since, since I ain't send you out of jail, yeah, fuck with me, right? Like, basically. Excuse so, me. Jay is no dummy. Obviously, what he did, he just did the New York Times uh, intera- interactive joint where he was talking about the whole... Yeah, which was why I'm like, bro, I guess there's a contract coming up. You know, as Nigerians, we always feel like everybody gets a contract once there's a new president, so... Oh, no, for sure. Jay's yeah. going to be head of petroleum suddenly. I mean, you you never know. Jay, Jay might be the head of music in the next administration. Just never... FCC. Like, just give him FCC. I wouldn't be surprised. It would be interesting to see, you know, someone that was literally a product of the Three Strikes era and a product of, you know, that administration to rise into such a position. I mean, it would definitely change the game. Which, we should I, don't think, I don't think Drake is going to be allowed to make music, but that's a story for another day. You don't think Jay's going to be allowed to make music? If if Jay gets that position, Drake, no more Canadian music being played in America. It's just one of those things. Oh, I, I mean, we know of Jay's past as much of a mogul he is. He is definitely the king of... Of petty. Of petty. And I respect it. He gets yeah. things, He gets things done. You wouldn't even know that he made a call. And I think that's what makes Jay the legend that he is. He's able to just make shit happen without you. Like five years later, they're like, yeah, bro, I had to let you go because of Jay. Like, <laughs> he stopped, he stopped sending in Duce, so now I can talk about Oh, him. man, Jay's a legend for that. Yo, he took Charlamagne. Oh, because, he, speaking of Drake, did you hear that um, Drake and uh, Wiz may be working on and dropping another? I heard, I heard. Like, the man, like, yo, ghost writers or not, the man be dropping shit. Like, Diddy can buy Ghost Riders, but he chooses not to make music. So I don't really, like, it is what it is. But the man be giving us music. And it's just to be appreciated. Like, he just gave us the disc with uh, Cuddy and Pusha. He gave us, and he's talking about doing more shit with, with um, Wiz, which I think he should do. His first number one was with Wiz and Homegirls. So I he think it's, it's a good move. He tweeted, Six God and Real Star Boy about to school everybody. Wave emoji, wave emoji, wave emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. Insane. That's absolutely <laughs> insane. Now, do you think The weekend really said that as... A, do you think it's a coincidental that he chose Starboy, or do you think there's something to it? I don't think it's coincidental at all. I think that um, it's petty on uh, that end, but I also don't think it was his idea. I think it was... Because, you know, you have to remember, like, a lot of... Well, not a lot, but a, a couple major 
labels were vying to sign dude, right? Mm-hmm, so the mm-hmm. minute that dude made it public that he was going the Sony route, obviously all the labels can do is be petty by, you know. Right. Because I just, more I listen to the lyrics, I'm like, bro, this is not coincidental. Oh, yeah. Republic was trying to get him heavy. In fact, they were, I was hearing um, that it could have gone either way, but I mean, Sony definitely had it in the bag, so I don't know why any other label thought they were going to have have it their way, but that's that was that. Um, that's insane. That's, so that's, that's why that happened, because you have to remember, the minute that we found out that, I mean, the minute that I heard that the deal had, like, the ink had dried, that mm-hmm. is when Weekend went on to, on social media, oh, Starboy. Drop, drop the haircut and all that shit. And then you heard about Wiz Khalifa's clothing line? No, I didn't. He has a children clothing line called Wiz Kids. (laughs) 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 It's so crazy. Oh, man. No way. I'm telling you, bro. I just missed this. I got to call. um, Just literally hashtag Wiz, W-H-I-Z, kids. Who is this tonight? Wiz kids, like it's real. What, no, when did he t- he tweeted this tonight? Um, no, no, this was like last week. Oh, I gotta I gotta reach out to them and ask questions. That's hilarious. Yeah, he got a, a kids clothing like called Wiz kids. It's just like it's been a long two weeks for our boy. Man. I mean, what Bash. About, if it's for Bash, I get it. Because I mean, he has mentioned in the past that he was trying to do something for Bash. I didn't know that this is what he was talking about, but I mean, if this is the case, if his Wiz Kids clothing line is his answer um, or his um, introduction into children's fashion, I think that's dope. I just think that the title of the clothing line is purely coincidental and hilarious, given that Wiz yeah, it's just, a superstar it's just now. A long two weeks for your guy. <laughs> Wiz is going through it, man. We nah, it's, going through it, man. He's got it. It goes from it goes from fake beefs with David O to real beef with David O to love to David, and now you got you got you're in the big boy leagues now. Oh. Weekend coming at you with a new haircut, and you know, possible with Khalifa's clothing line. It's just so weird. It was just like, bro, this is really a thing now. Man. Like when David O signed, nobody. It was all cool and dandy. The man got a magazine cover. Was it all cool and dandy though? What <laughs> was it all cool and dandy when David O signed to Sony? nobody? Was it was it that it was like we were happy for him? We were was happy it... for him, sure. But was it all cool and dandy? That's a whole different conversation. Really, I was see. It, was it cool I'm and not, dandy? I'm not. I wasn't hip. I guess I'm not hip. You know, it was. I just felt like he fell off the map a little bit. You know, whatever. Maybe it's him and his baby mama drama. But I just felt I like mean, he fell off the map. Shout out to Davido, man. Uh, be, is it Son of Mercy the EP that just dropped? Yes, I saw the notice. I haven't. I still haven't felt the need to listen to it yet. But <laughs> I listened to it twice just to make sure I wasn't tripping. Not a terrible project, but okay. The, the only song that stood out to me that was like, "Yo, this is a fire record," Maga Tamugu featuring mm-hmm. you know Stimmy, right? Yes. Oh, I love her voice, dog. Now she has a real sultry voice, like. Oh, she's amazing. But I, I gotta fun. listen to it. I gotta listen to it because I crazy. actually I want fun. him to do well because it's gonna get boring if it's just Wiz. To be honest with you. You talking about uh, Wiz's album? No, no. I want David O to do well and have that good album. So we have you know a united front of acts that we can say, yo, this is Afro Beats. Once some things are squared off on the. Uh, Wiz side on the Starboy side on the uh, um, you know once the they Starboy side once they figure that out I think it's gonna be fine. Also Drake, you know Drake is about to drop that more life project, so it's quite possible that we may see Wiz on that project. Yeah, I heard I heard there's a good chance he's on there. Yeah, so we shall see what happens. It should be very bad because yeah, I'm just so happy that he wasn't just in L.A. taking flicks because you know oh, no, no, he's Wiz was taking. Wiz was taking a whole lot of flicks in LA and we were happy that they looked good, but you know. <laughs> shout outs to Wiz, shout outs to SARS, shout yes, outs to SARS. Oh yes. Wiz and SARS have been like the, I'm guessing you know SARS is not just there taking pictures, so I'm shout pretty sure. Shout outs to Mute, shout outs to Blood Beats. 
Shout out to everybody over there. He has a squad on him too, man. Like Starboy really does have a squad, and Effia in there, Mister Easy. Effia is Starboy now. Effia's been Starboy. She took he took half of Ghana. He took half of Ghana and put on Starboy. I didn't know that. Is R two B's also Starboy? Yes. Yep. What? Yo, I had no idea. That's awesome. Starboy, I think the only Nigerian act and Starboy, well, what's his name, right? The uh, Cairo guy is on there. LAX. LAX is on there. And yeah, I think, I think like two more people from Nigeria might be on there. But yeah, there's a lot of Ghanaians on Starboy. And it seems Mr. Easy, you know, hopefully he doesn't like get watered down. Like they have a good future. Yeah. I mean, shout out to all them. They're killing it. And Effia killed it at, um, one Africa. One Africa. Oh my God, her performance was so dope. So she's a really sweet girl. That uh, she's too sweet. She's too sweet. Like killed at the NEA. Um, I was happy to see her there, and then she came through and did her thing again for One Africa. And shout out to Sika, man. Sika definitely made it a point for me to meet Afia. I didn't even know she existed until. Mm-hmm. One Africa. And amazing. then she 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 did so, so wonderful on the Easy song, the Skin uh, Tight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, right, and then yeah. um, the album yeah, she's she's here, that's, album, she, that's, that's, that's continental. Starboy, Starboy is going to be uh, you know a label to be reckoned with. I'm excited for them. I mean, no, I mean, no shots to D. Was it David O. Worldwide DMW. Music DMW. Yeah, Music DMW. Worldwide DMW. Music. That us to them too. I mean, yeah, definitely... they had um Falati Padawa the whole um thing. They were mm. it was like a hot three months, but I'm pretty sure, like, they're all gonna get back to it once, you know, David O drops the album. I'm sure he, fe- does he feature them on the album? Uh, David O? Yes, there's a Dremel uh, and... I don't remember, to be honest with you. Simi's the only... The one that stuck out to you? That, yeah, that stuck out to me. I mean, there may have been other features I may not have gotten that far, to be honest with you, but that record, my God, a move I've probably played, I played it maybe... <laughs> Ten times in a row, wow. like it's such a, it's such a sweet song. Oh, and how long with Tanache? That's up there too. Oh, the Tanache song currently drops. You're on my wild, baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's such okay. a fire no, record. No, 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 I don't stop. Continue now. Continue. Oh, well, I can't sing again. I can't just <laughs> do free free song like that. No freestyle here. Yeah. Go on iTunes and download it. Before before they take down the podcast, we're saying you you nah, sang, can't have that so you sang the whole thing, bro. You sang it exactly how it was sang. I don't imagine the, the content ID will say, "Ah, you now uploaded." I didn't upload anything. No. A I'm full not, song, man. a full song. How how do you how do you carry yourself as such? But you a know. full song called F Z. F Z. It's well. Tanache is speaking Yoruba on that record, fam. Wow. Wow, indeed. So the pandemic, he was making a McMill's video. What's for Tanache? Oh, oh um, that's Tenashe. good. So let me tell you about my... I'll tell you a short story about Tanache. Oh, Last time oh, I was with Tanache, I told her, I promised her that the next time I saw her, she would have Jalof. First of all, she replied that, hmm, you don't know I've already had Jalof. I said, wow, <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be vexed with me. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Sure, she's hit, bro. She's hit. Yeah, you saw, and I'm um, this Gabriel Union too. We're talking about Jalof. Oh, Gabriel Union, shout out to Jalof on the timeline. Shout out to the beautiful it's Melanin easy, Queen. Easy. Like so, and I think she talked about Pande Diam or something else. It was oh, two yeah. things. It was two it things. She's so happy to see these wonderful American women talking about the culture like that. Because you just know, like, there's a chance that you could just scoop one up with a correct goosey soup. Oh. Like it's just it's just a good shout out to my homie Audra too, who's hip. Audra the, Audra rapper. the rapper? Definitely hip to oh, Audra been hip. Audra knows. Definitely Audra hip. Knows. There's gonna be a day that I'll just you know introduce Audra to a nice fine tailor and get her nice gilly. Hmm, you're making sense. Audra's yeah, fine. Shout out to Audra the rapper. That's the homie. She's a friend of the show. Yeah. I've known do you know how long I've known Audra? I've known, known Audra for like yes. For like seven, eight years, I think. Yeah, we gotta get her on. We gotta get her Audrey on. Audrey is she actually. She actually has been asking me when she can come on. So, oh, that's awesome. Audrey is a good show. We may have she's... to bring her on in a future episode. Shout out to Audrey again. Uh, definitely check her out. She's all over the Twitters, all over the YouTubes. Um, at one point, she <laughs> was signed to MMG. Yes, yes, I remember. And now she was... she's on Sisterhoods. 
Sister of Hip Hop. Yes. The VH1 show. Shout outs to Audra. Yeah, she's making moves. I'm too proud of her. And she's uh, about as humble as it gets. Like, you wouldn't even know what the resume holds with Audra. So shout outs to her. Oh, yeah. And everybody else. And Kerry Washington. I'm sure she's eating oh, yeah. plenty of Ninja food. Um, oh, what's her name? The Flawless Beauty from ATL that was with the basketball player. What's her name? Carrie Hilson, I'm sure oh, she's Oh my fan. god. The perfection, perfection, just like shoulder up, it's a 10. Like just oh, oh my lord. Even shoulder down, like she's bad. She's just straight up bad. Just it's just that she she just she should have never said the name you don't say. But look, if we had the power to clone people, just mm, know that my own character whatever happened. And she would she would have a Yoruba accent. Oh, Carrie Hilson. Sometimes love. Kemi Hilson. I should be making... Kemi Hilson. Oh, you are so so smart. Easily. Easily. Just put in the correct amount of atta into your stew. Ah. The correct amount of red pepper and... Uh Attache. Oh, goodness. You are just making me hungry. I have to now find out. Kemi Hilson. Is she still I feel like she's not. I feel like she's not not the way she looks at me on a Snapchat. I don't think she is. You know what I almost did? You know when uh, Nigerian parents will be saying, we thank God for things you shouldn't be thanking God for. Like something, It's obviously something bad, but it's like, we thank God. <laughs> well, like, no. what? well, I'm sorry. It's something good. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> like, it's good for me. But, I don't you know. know that man. I don't know that man. That man never did nothing for me. Exactly. No. exactly. I don't even understand what he'd be saying, and I'm West African. So Exactly. That's, so oh. blessings to her. Like, you yeah, know, for even dealing with him. Carrie Hilson is just a beautiful she's boy. She writes, she writes her own music and all that good shit, but it's just that nobody wants to hear her now because she said that name. But bless her soul. She's such a beauty. We need Carrie to join Gango. We need oh, Carrie. yes. Somehow, some way. Somehow. <laughs> but she's already in the African gang. I feel like, you know, Uncle, I saw that you can be with anybody, but if I see you with an African... I will come back and I will kill you. I feel like I feel like a lot of African men that date fine American, European, whatever, not mm. non African celebs, I feel mm. like they instill that fear into them. Because I mean yeah, like don't play these games with me. You and I have definitely met some, you know, pretty I wouldn't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't know yep. what you're talking about. I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, where are you going with this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> um, don't let me not cover anybody. Never yeah, mind. Don't, don't. I remember you were with. Nope. No. No. <laughs> and that day, you called my let pastor. Me not I, was actually, anybody. I was cleaning the piano that night. So talking about Bawa, not Bawa. You know, a very different person. Very different <laughs> person. I heard of him too. But I don't. Bro, we keep running. We keep going into the next topics perfectly. We were just talking about the kitchen. Did okay. you hear what uh, President Buhari said? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna say it like this. Baba is how old is he? In the seventies, sixties? He's old, dog. Yeah, bro. We both know you're not laying no smack down nowhere. It's just, bro. it's just what it is. Like I don't the care guy what the guy I don't care what Jedi Jedi medicine you are drinking. It's not. It's just not standing as it should be. That you should be talking like that one, bro. and. You're the it wife of the curious. president. You're the wife of the president. The amount of house girls that they have. Just a common man that has Okada take him to work has a house girl. So there is Auntie is not entering anybody's kitchen. Auntie hasn't even washed her hand herself. Yeah. I mean it was obviously was. obviously in 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 our culture, a lot of things are passed around as jokes. Mm-hmm. But you know, that when was, you're on an international stage like that, I mean, you know, it was excuse me, joke in the day, but it's, like it's, when you're on an international it's just stage, just hurt. He's just hurt. Term. He got to let that hurt go. Like she said what she said, and you feel some type of way, and now you want to prove you're a man. For we don't believe. Funny. We don't believe you. Yeah, it's it's that patriarchal stuff. I mean, it's, it's just. No, he's, I'm girl. sorry, he's our president, so there has to be some respect there. But bruh, we don't believe you. You're telling her to go anywhere. Yeah, I don't even think I don't even think Auntie knows how to turn on the gas cooker in that house. Yeah, like, no, she doesn't I, I need do to. Too. There's yeah, a kaite, there's a ungozi, there's, there's a there's a lola doing all those things. It's um, just not happening. It's not happening. It's it's just sad to me that 
you know, yes, he's a Nigerian, but at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of that stuff is more prevalent in the northern culture, like in the house of Fulani, you know, it's more prevalent to be very much... Yeah, the man, the man being, you know, who he is in the house. And like, it's, it's, like talking it's, it's down to so women and stuff. I've never so found he's that. Hurt. I really think he's just hurt because he's never given that vibe in any other time. So it's just now that she said something, stood for herself. I mean, the and dude like, was a you know dictator, bro. I mean, what do you expect? People are like, oh, he's democratic. No, bro, ran the country with an army. Bro, like, people yeah. don't, people, you know, evolve, but they don't change. You know what I mean? Like, he can see things a little differently. Like, damn, I shouldn't kill as much people this time around, maybe. But we're not saying he's just, like, all willy-nilly, all free, democratic, everything. Not so, but he's just, he just came off so hurt. Like, I felt bad for him more than I was, like... Like, disappointed, definitely, because you're just at your age. You know what I mean? Like, this mm. is what you're coming and saying to women on TV and as the president of Nigeria. It's just so shameful. Like, yeah. good luck, Jonathan, is just looking better and better with every single move this man makes. Yep. Let's just be clear. Uh, as two proud Nigerians on this podcast, let it be clear that as men, we respect all women. We oh, of course. Not, there's no rooms. There's no rooms for anybody cooks. in the house. We do not relegate women to being simply cooks. Simply, I, I, I challenge anyone to come and even cook better than me. So there's no room. Everybody does their own. I think he was just so embarrassing. It was just shameful. Yeah. We need to stop letting. We need to stop um, allowing people to represent us on international stages and talk crazy because it makes all of us look bad and we are not all like that and it's no, important no 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 there are too many too many of us don't got things out there and he's not even close to representing i think anybody i know you know that's nigerian you know? yeah 73 years old dog 73 come on bro you're not doing anything you're not put telling him to go to what's she gonna go to room to do for you bro like there's to, warm, to warm up his uh <laughs> to warm up his heating pad for his back bro, that's about it that's about it. And please, I don't know how to work the iPhone. I beg, can you turn the alarm on for me? I kind of wish that she reported back with, okay, even if you send me to another room, what am I doing there? Bruv, there's nothing, B. There isn't, <laughs> you know, there isn't enough energy in Nigeria to start any kind of blood flow, bro. Like, just just be just be old, bro. Just be old. Imagine, I don't want to throw up on, on this tongue. Like, I, I'm sorry. He's a, he's our president. Let me Let me chill. Presido, Baba, <laughs> Twale. You know what? I added it. I Sai. It. Sai. Sai Buhari. Sai Buhari. Sai. Sai Buhari. No, literally yeah. Sai. <sighs> sai. Like, <laughs> Sai. Oh, sai is that Buhari. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we keep, like I said, we keep leading into the next boom. Did you see the video of Lupita, David Oyelowo, and Dakota Fanning and, like, other actors singing the one dance lyrics yes i saw it like i saw it a long time it popped up again and it's just like i'm sorry the song gonna be fired till till the day i die yes the content is questionable you know but it's just the song is fire i'm gonna put the link in the bottom of the the com the uh yes i definitely saw it you know they but they went the whole point of that video was to be like yo jack what the hell are you talking about but when that man when that beat drops I'm hype. Maybe because Whiskit is on a song with Drake. Maybe it's because Whiskit is on a song that's playing all over the damn place. But that song has me hype every time. Even though Controller is better in the album. The, well, not not the, the album Controller. The Popcorn. Yeah. That's one. That's one. In the my heart. Uh, yeah, okay. not not that one. <laughs> As the deluxe album version, I'm not sure what's going on here. What is the meaning of all this? What is the meaning of all this, Jackie? That, that was the pigeon. That was the pigeon version that they sent me. Pigeon patois. <laughs> You're doing the pigeon patois version. Feel like a Simmons in the Uh huh. That sounded like that. Actually sounded like an STD. Simmons <laughs> Oh <laughs> man. So now we should move into uh, our track of the week. What okay. track of the week from your end, Sa? What song do you want to put us on to this week? Wow, this is the spotlight, so... Don't pick, pick, pick. It could be somebody underground. It could be some. you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that you have your ear to the streets, so... The streets. Definitely an area where we can 
I'm gonna Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna there's this there's this artist, right? He he actually performed at celebration. Okay. Mm. The man like the man has he's a Nigerian guy, right? He has he bleached his hair blonde. You know what I mean? And okay. he can't perform. He cannot I repeat, he cannot perform in his clothes on for some reason. Like it's just one of those taboo things. Maybe like you know, his Babala will tell him as long as you off shirts by the second verse. You will now still be half of them. Yes. Other than that, you will end up in Madonna's. <laughs> you will end up in Madonna's. So I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. But the name of the song, <clears throat> shout out to his name is Hamid, by the way. Hamid, you don't know. He's from the DMV. Do okay. you know why I like the word the DMV? Because I, I swear to you, they be telling me I'm from Maryland, Baltimore, Virginia, and I be forgetting. So I just, just the DMV, Parentheses, brackets, and just start the bands. DMV bracket just works for me. So anyway, he's from the DMV, and the name of the song is Regular. Oh, dope. And it's a trap African song. Like It's, it's Afro Trap. It's Afro Trap, Trap Freakan, whatever else comes in to your thing, where you miss the cough syrup, and you put small, you know, Tom Tom, and all that <laughs> shit. You get Afro <laughs> Trap. But yes, I mean, you know... Regular fire jam. Listen to him. Check him out. We, we might come up with some fire stuff later. Maybe we'll have him on the show in the future. We'll, we'll see. But you guys, if you guys like it, we might have him on the show so you guys can hear from him. Set the roof on fire. See the cue. I miss. Run out the bands on the regular. I do not fall in no regulars. You can hear me on my shade. But I do not fall in no regulars. Run out the bands on the regular. Yeah, I do not fall in no regulars. You can hear me on my shade. But I do not fall in no regulars. Run out the bands on the regular. I do not fall in no regulars. You can hear me on my shade. But I do not fall in no regulars. They run out the bands on the regular. Yeah, you can hear me on my shade. I do not fall in no regulars. I do not set the roof on fire. We gon' shut it down. We gon' light up this place. How we gon' bust it down? Set the roof on fire. We gon' bust it down. We gon' light up this place. How we gon' shut it down? So man on the roof, they them higher. They them, they them higher. We never shoot, throw them banga. Throw them, throw them banga. Man on the roof, they them higher. Hey, they them, they them higher. We never shoot, throw them banga. Throw them, throw them banga. Set the roof on fire. No pressure, because I just laid fire. I just invented fire on top of the ears of the people. We have to keep, since you now brought fire, we have to now add to that fire. Mm-hmm. So, have you ever heard of the artist Fumbi from Lagos? Fumbi? Yeah. No, I have not. He was affiliated with Show Them Camp. Um, okay, I definitely know Show Them Camp. He is part of the collective in Nigeria. So, like, Icon and all those guys. Okay. Cool. So, Fumbi dropped this track recently called Hallelujah. It's one of my favorite records out right now. Mm. I don't think it's crossed over to the States yet. So, okay. me too. Can't wait to hear this. I was lost inside the desert, vultures circling round my head, but thanks to God now, I made it out of there. I was just another sheep inside the belly of the beast, but thanks to God now, I made it out of there. <laughs> Can't you see the hand of heaven is upon me? Yeah, yeah. It's a lottery now. It's 
40 days and 40 nights Sick guy you shall find I say more muscle to your hustle More butter to your bubble More blessing to the talika May God give you a lubarika More muscle to your hustle More butter to your bubble more blessing to the Talika, may God give you a Lubarika. I was lost inside the desert, vultures circling round my head, but thanks to God now, I made it out of there. I was just another sheep inside the belly of the beast, but thanks to God now, I made it out of there. The thing has less than 5,000 or 10,000 views on YouTube right now. Definitely has less than 10,000 views on YouTube. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, what, what's up with Uncle Kanye and Uncle Jay-Z? Like, could you? That's a good question. Um, honestly, mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't asked questions. It's just one of those, it's one of those things where you, you know. It's Kanye being Kanye? No, no, no. It's, it's one, you know, being that, you know, we don't want to, I don't want to ever ask questions that can you know, come back to bite me. You know, if I hear, if I hear, if somebody tells me something, you know, and they say, you know, you can discuss it, whatever, cool, I'll discuss it. But everything I've heard has been very, yeah, let's not talk about this. Yeah, it's things you don't touch. Got you. It's just, uh, I love Kanye, but damn. Yeah. But anyway, he's my uncle for life, you know. So That's a good, like wild to discuss. Fam you know, family family squash business. It. I hope they squash it. Um, Jay's, I don't. I don't see it getting crazy. You know, like the Jay's person, not going to put put his laundry out, um, right? Um, so unless he wants to capitalize off of it in the music. Uh, I don't know. Unless there's a movie he's making, but he got TV shows coming, and you know, bringing out mad visuals. I don't think he needs that right now. It's, he is topic of conversation. I don't know if that's a positive or if that's planned, but something out of give because obviously drake and kanye want to make music together badly it seems so we shall see yeah and now yeah. the drake the drake push it thing coming up because i know the kid cuddy thing he's away right now he's yeah, out man. of commission for a while so yeah. i think that's gonna be something to look forward fun. to drake had the nerve to make fun of cuddy when cuddy just i don't i don't i i'm i'm in I'm in the other place, but I am a Drake fan, so maybe. But I do feel like, I felt like it's one of those tracks that might have been around before that happened. No. Cause I, he, I don't cause, disagree with you, but I think that even though it was a track that, you know, had been recorded beforehand, you're very hip to what's going on day by day. You know what I'm saying? Especially as connected as you are to social media. Mm -hmm. you're you know, I, I, he definitely knows the man is in rehab. I know that much. Yeah, so he knew. I don't think it was very tasteful. Because I feel like it was more like, yo, you're, you're up and down. Because after the phases line, he said something about, let me, let me, you know, that's my, that's my, what's it called right now? I'm going to get you the exact words. And when I was like, you know what? Maybe it was just the fact that Cuddy had rants on social media. Because that's really where it started. Because he said, life of the angry and famous which was the line right after that, which I would think would be, you know, him coming at him going off right after the beef day, right after his beef with Ye. So I'm not sure, but I'm excited to see the Drake and Pusha thing more than the Kid Cudi and Drake. Then I feel like that should just be left alone. Like Drake felt like he had to take a jab back, but it came out a wrong time. But I'm not sure if you just wait for the man to come out and they were like, oh, you're the one good with your life. And now Drake comes at him. It'd be like, you know, just a drive by coming off coming off coming off you know what he's going through so i i am quite excited for drake and pusha t though even though we know how it's gonna end i'm still Same. honestly i've been waiting for this for a long time years and um i'm happy that you were excited when you hear drake came in you're like oh finally thank you god yeah. very excited um last thing i forgot to bring up earlier files yes. and simi are actually they actually dropped their chemistry song, their collaboration. I have to listen to it. I saw, I literally saw it, and I'm like, okay, I need, I need food in my stomach to listen to this so I could enjoy it, you know. So the plan is to eat some Ewa going, and then I'll, I'll listen to it. You're such a, you're such a, you're such a Nigerian dog. 
Yeah, it's just you, you, you just, certain things take you to certain places, you know. When you, when you say spiritual, like I don't, you know, I don't do marijuana, so it's the food that takes me to that space. You know? thank God. Your mom will yeah. be proud. Yeah, she's too proud. She's too proud. She claps every day because God knows. She, we don't know how we got here, but we're here now, so it's something to clap for. Thank God, it is good to praise the Lord. The marijuana, the uh, hookah, all of them, I just, I be dodging them things. So she's. That, those are all, those are all tools of bad gang. Oh, them. no. It's just, just too many things that you can intake, like food. Like there's suya and you want me to smoke hookah. Oh. Like, bro, no. Give me suya. Oh, I want to just drink Jameson like, for. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so many good things. I'd rather eat the leaves of a goosey than any other leaves. Like, it's just, it just doesn't make sense to me. So. You when I go when I see this things, the food takes me to that place to like a correct high, like just lay there and I'll just start being confused with things that are happening in this world. Food does that to me. So anybody, everybody and their own chat, me, I know where my own is, is correct food, hot amala, you know, stew and okra, correct orishi orishi, things like this excites <laughs> my soul. Word, I definitely feel you. So yeah, I think um We've covered a lot of stuff in this uh, in this hour. Yes, yeah, so I, I was quite excited. Again, shout outs to Team One Africa because I I feel like they brought something we we needed, you know. And we're not expecting to be a perfect package first time around because obviously people are like, "Yo, we need more countries." Blah blah blah. Don't say One Africa, but it's, it's still it's it's yeah, it's coming. And again, you got to tell your artists to create a wave in which they want to be, you know, you're like, yo, we have to F with this person. If you're a French artist, you can make a song that an an English speaker would want. I've, I listen to Bachata songs and I can rock with it because the vibe is there. I don't understand what the hell they're saying, but I hear Mark Anthony, Vivi Mi Vida, I think is one of the greatest songs ever. Do I know what he's saying after the hook? No, but the song play and I rock (laughs) out, you know, Say that again. None of your enemy Spanish babes can teach you Spanish, I think. Again, I don't. I was in church. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the Bronx, so we have a lot of churches in the Bronx. Oh, that was a good response. <laughs> I was, oh. I was, I was playing. The communion was, you know, they were pouring pouring the blood of Jesus into a cup. Mm-hmm. I couldn't hear you. Over this, over this plata. Ridiculous. So it is what it is. It is what it is. But I feel like they should, because there's been a lot of French songs that we sing and don't know the words to. You know, French joints. Yeah, like coupe de calais. Love love French. Like coupe de calais. Yeah, I don't know what it means. Fire. One girl. Like it's so fire. But when that beat drop, boom, boom. Boom, and you just lose your mind. Whatever they're saying. I don't if, if, they're if he's coming to perform at the Apollo Theater, I will be there just to just vibe out. Not even Apollo Theater, because I need to, you know. Network with some women when the song is playing, so I need space on the dance floor. But we should, we should network and uh, make that uh, happen. That would be dope. I'm not sure they would understand what we're saying. I trust the word we're saying because we're speaking in English. But we can find a French person, you know, with plenty dinero. And also our uh, Congolese listeners, our Ivorians. Can we can we shout out that Congolese woman? I mean, um, Congolese oh, shout outs to for sure. We, you know, there's some fire Congolese <laughs> friends of the show. <laughs> well, <laughs> black girl magic, eh? <laughs> Correct, black girl magic. Bro, the way oh, the sun, it's, the way their skin collects the sun is just oh, different. Thank God just, for like the pouch in their paws. It's just very real. Like, it just goes. Bro, ah, like, how are you just utilizing the sun in different ways? That's, those are the, the mysteries of, of of God that we, would never, we are not meant to understand, but we thank God regardless. Congolese woman, bro. I mean, Congolese listeners, man. <laughs> Congolese listeners. Oh. You guys. You guys yeah, make the world go round. We thank you. Wow. We thank you for your life. Like it's the Drake, same song. Was, Is it Drake not the same song? Drake was talking about those those you know those Eritrean 
Ethiopian girls. He completely missed the. Oh, you know, he missed. He missed. The no, and the, the, no knock to the East African listeners, <clears throat> but that skin, man, that skin, it just looks like just somebody just dived into Vaseline and just came out. We thank God. Ah, let me, let's, let, let's talk about that later. Because so fire. Yeah. Cause I, I want to I wanna meet our listeners more. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have to do this very soon. Yes, very soon in, in Congo. Be nice. We have to recruit some scientists, you know, some, uh, oh, you know, some Nigerian scientists. Hashtag, hashtag Congo all over this podcast, please. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, to our, shout out to our Congolese joints. And we'll let them know. If you're listening from Congo, just wait till the end. <laughs> oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. On that note, yes. this is a great episode. Talked about a lot. And, Thank um, you for having me on. We appreciate you. Where Enjoy. can people find you? People have been asking, well, how do I find Bawa on the interwebs? I beg you. I don't... You know, I owe people money, so things like this, I don't know who's listening. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to answer? <laughs> you don't have to answer. It's fine. Can they find you first and then find me? Fact. It's not okay, possible. So nah, but that the username is just Bauer, J-U-S-T-B-A-W-O. It's the same for Instagram, for Twitter, for Snapchat, Facebook. I have pictures I don't care to show people, so I can't <laughs> give you my Facebook information. The TBTs are just there on Facebook. There's no need for the hashtag. It's just there. You just keep scrolling to the right, and then you'll be like, "Wow, what was going on in this life five years ago?" So, but you know, Twitter we packaged it well. Instagram we deleted all the old ones from 226 weeks ago downwards, and you know, Snapchat is correct packaging. And if it doesn't look good, we'll throw emoji up at the face. You know, things like that. But Perfect. Facebook, Facebook, I just don't worry about it. And as always, uh, you guys can find me at They Call Me Tune. That's yes. T-H-E-Y-C-A-L-O-M-E-T-U-N-E on all the socials. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that. Boom. And for the podcast, the official socials for all the podcasts, um, all the podcast official socials are at It's No Wahala. So I T S N O W A H A L A. Boom. Hit the follow, share our stuff, tag our stuff, send it to your friends, let them know this is the best podcast coming out of Africa. All right. Well, uh, we're going to leave everyone with uh, major keys. What's your major key of, of, of this week? My major key is consistency, man. Just keep doing what you do. Sooner or later, they're going to come for you for it. Just keep doing what you do. Even if even if your job is just to clap, just keep clapping. And one day, there'll be a movie, and I'm like, yeah, we need clappers. And someone will be like, yeah, I know this guy that claps. Just keep doing what you do. Consistency, consistency, consistency. My key of this week will be uh, don't hand an elder anything with your left hand. Or run the risk of getting a dirty slap. Mm. Nobody that's, wants a slap. That's that. I I didn't even think that had to be said, but you are very right. You know, a lot of our listeners are not necessarily from conversations. I've changed after that, bro. Like, because, you know, the right hand, and then you just block your own blessing. A lot of people don't have home training again, so we have to be giving them gems little by little. You know, understand? Just, just I, I, it's it don't it don't for my brain. If you don't want that to slap, don't hand elder anything with your left hand. That's all. Very simple. Very simple. Just keep your left hand in your pockets. Move fly guy. Thanks everybody for listening. Till next episode. Peace out.